Hey everyone, and welcome to day 22 of 365 Days of Gaming. Um, so, day 20 and day 21, uh, I recorded the videos and I uploaded them and I didn't listen, stop to watch them because I don't really like to watch myself play or listen to my own voice sometimes. And apparently the mic was disabled, so you missed all my humorous commentary on me trying to play RuneScape, which was not my friend. And then me trying to play Escape Rooms on some website, which was definitely not my friend. And they're probably very boring videos. And Mr. Mad today sat down to watch the RuneScape to check the sound because um, he had done something and found out that the mic was off. And he just went, what were you trying to do? Well, <laughs> trying to set it up and not winning very well. So, sorry about the lack of sound. Um... I'm really disappointed because yesterday I re-recorded the video like eight times. I tried all these different games and they were all screwing up. And it was day 21. It was three weeks. We were so excited. Um, back over in the Facebook arcade, um, although it's called the game room now. I don't know why. Um, basically, every game that I went in to go to do, because we, we borrowed an account. Um, and so it was showing everyone's last name. So I'd get like halfway through a game and then I'd go you know, oh, it showed someone's last name and their picture, and um, they're people I don't even know, so I'm like, oh, I'm sure, I don't, I don't have this person's permission to put them in a video, so here we are, we're back in the arcade, we've made our own account now, you see data up in the corner, that's our cat, the cat now has his own Facebook, which isn't really allowed, so um, I'm not going to tell you what the last name is, um, but it's this little friendless little data, um, we named our cat Data after data on Star Trek TNG because he kind of looks like Spot. Although after a while we realized he maybe is more of a Geordi. Um, and I also sometimes like to call him Quark because he likes Umax. And Umax is where you rub the ears. And although it's not sexual with my cat, it's sexual for Ferengi. But he really likes the ears. But not when Mr. Mad does it, only when I do it. And the only one who can give him the Umax the way he likes. All right. So, let's go into here. I want to play this one game that Mr. Mad, actually it's really funny. Um, oh, it's down over here. We're going to play Dragon City. <laughs> because Mr. Mad, one of his buddies was like, hey, come play Dragon City. I think you'll like it. And or come play Dragon City and do this thing for me. And so he did. And then he says, "Oh, this is one of those games that you are totally gonna love." And I started playing it, and I loved it, loved it. But then here's the thing: I'm like level 52 in Dragon City. Um, we said to my mom right after I started, "Oh, mom, like you'll really love this." Yeah, no, it's like a whole new world with her. She eats, sleeps, and drinks Dragon City. So, um. Now that our whole family is addicted. Um, welcome to your island, Deus. Okay, so like the other ones we did, um, these things are pretty straightforward. Um, there's no sound on, actually. The sound is muted, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, so we, there's a hatchery. So this is Dragon City. This is Dragon. So you buy a dragon. goes into the hatchery. It hatches. Oh, it's going to make me speed it up. We place the dragon over here in our habitat. We build different habitats. We feed them. Oh, I gotta feed to level four. Gotta build a farm. So, we've talked before about the different, um, oh, here it is. Here's the, oh, it's not going to let me do full screen until Deus is gone. Alright, alright, I'm over here. Oh, so we're going to breed them. So, okay, there are goals here. As you breed them, you get stuff. Um, you could share it on Facebook. It says to share the good news with your friends. I don't want to. Um... Oh, it's still not letting me make it a big screen. Finish breeding with Terra and Flame. So when you've got it in your breeder, you can speed it up. Personally, I'd rather not. It's a bit of a waste. But I spent a gem. I want a gem. Same old. 
So that's in the hatchery. You can do the same thing in the hatchery. You could speed up a little hatchling. Alright. Is my tutorial over? Is my tutorial over? See, because I don't actually want you guys to watch me play the tutorial, because that's dumb. Alright, full screen ahead! Alright, so I've got a flame habitat. I've got a... That's what you start with. And... Oh, they look like they're doing it. But they were hugging. Um, so, this game... You zoom out. You've got these six islands. There's actually like ten. And the more you... I'm going to go over into here in this blank space. There's actually more islands there that you can't see. Um... This game, this is what I mean by graphics. Some of the other games we were playing, the graphics were just crap older. So there's a hatchery, so you can buy eggs. Um, you can upgrade it. So it cost me 15 gems to upgrade. I have 13. Um, I have a level 4 flamey dragon. Oh, once you run out of food, you can buy more. Oh, I don't want to invite any friends. I don't have any friends. Here's my breeding. So, I could go in here and just rebreed it, but I've already got um, I, that's the last thing I did, so I can just hit rebreed, and it'll automatically pull up the last thing you bred, which is good if you forget, because once you end up with like 50 or 100 or 200 dragons, you're not going to remember what you bred, especially because later, these ones take like 10 seconds, but or sorry, 30 seconds later, they'll take like 3 days, um, but that's for really, really cool dragons, so you can click on trees and dig them up So to make gold, your dragons actually make gold. You can see down here, you can collect the gold. Oh. I really hate that you can't see my mouse. So it's right down here on this bar in between the question mark and the green arrow. And um, there's these goals. When you get later, when you get past these goals, they're actually really kind of um, hard to do. Oh, can't feed this guy. So we're going to plant our farm. So we can do a half hour, we can do five minutes, we can do 30 seconds. These times will change later. You'll get more food. Um, if you're going to sit here and click, 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 click for a half hour, if every five seconds or every 30 seconds, you're probably going to make more food than if you had um, done the half hour one. It also gives you something to do if you're born senseless and you just want to something to do. So you see all these rocks and trees, they have these little bars that are popping up. It's because I'm digging them up. I'm clicking on them and I'm clicking on this little digger button. Up here in the, up here on the top, um, I've just highlighted it. I need 225 XP to reach level 4. And it's got the number of gems, the amount of gold, the amount of food. Um, that's my dragon book. I'll show you that. Um, I'm level 3 right now, so the stuff you do will get you XP, but also, also, digging up all these trees and rocks, the only thing you get from them is XP, but sometimes you can do like a whole level from like two rocks. So, we're going to go into the dragon book. They changed this, actually, before there were dragon collections, and once you got all of the dragon collections, you got so many gems, which was way, way nicer, um, but then they changed it, so there's a very large amount of dragons. Um, so they, you can click on, you can have it show up, all of them, or you can have them show based on if they're common dragons, they're rare dragons, very rare, uh, whatever E is, legendary or hero dragons. What is a E? Oh, I think those are the element dragons. So like, Later you can get pure, like I have a flame dragon. You can get a double flame dragon and a pure dragon. And these are all the categories. So there's a terra dragon, a flame dragon, a water dragon, a nature dragon, um, an electric dragon. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's called a snow dragon. Snow metal, this, this uh, little staff here. Um, right after the snowflake is actually a metal dragon. That's a screw. There's a night dragon, dark dragon, sorry. That half moon is a dark dragon. This uh, white star next to it is a light dragon. The orange guy, if you look, that actually is like a Roman soldier helmet um, or like a Trojan warrior helmet. 
So that is a war dragon. The um, three-part symbol there. I can't. Re it's really sad because I have a tattoo of that, and I don't know what it's called. Because I always call it the Trinity, but there's actually a, a, a Celtic name for it. It's um, that's a pure dragon. The infinity sign is a. I'm not sure. I don't have one of those. And then this swirl at the end. Those are a special kind of dragon that we make over here in the ancient world that's blocked out because I haven't earned that yet. Um, oh, let me just grow some food. So there are towers. Um, so this is locked to level 10. Um, for four hours you get 20% gold and I think every so many hours it resets. This one resets every day and you get one free gem and then 24 hours later you can click it again. This one is awesome. It'll skip eight hours on food production. So you see the food that we had was um, 30 seconds, five minutes, half hour. Um, later you'll get all the way up to like a full day of food. And the best ones are the three hour one and the six hour one if you're going to bed. Nine hours is a million dollars per farm. Um, on my farm, I have like 15 farms, and uh, sorry, on my island, I have like 10 or 15 farms, and that's a lot of money. But um, then you click that one, and eight hours is gone. So you only have to wait an hour. So it's good to get a whack load of food at once if you have the money to refill your farm. If you don't, then it's kind of a waste to do it because then your farms are just sitting idle anyway. Um, this one, uh oh. Uh oh. This one right here um, gives you extra help for one hour to fight your dragons because you can fight your dragons against other dragons. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like if you know, like if you play Pokemon or Hearthstone, if you know the cards, although uh, in that every dragon will go, you'll, you'll physically see them go against another dragon and they ha they'll shoot something at it or a, an action against it. They don't actually physically attack each other. Um, but they'll have like four different weapons that they can use or moves. And you can train them to upgrade their move to something else. And they're all elemental based. Um, this island here, this one speeds up breeding. And this island, that you can't actually see the towers and I'm not sure why. Um, I think you have to get to a certain level to open them. This one speeds up your training. They might have taken those towers out, and I just happen to have them on my one already. <laughs> oh, we won't do that. So, see, now, oh, now I clicked it before you could see it. But if you saw, there was a gold bar right above there. That means this is full, and it wasn't earning any more gold. So you can go in at any time. I'm going to go over to this guy. And you see it's got 170, and I can click on it. And I've gotten that gold. Um, but once it's full, once it's at capacity, you can't do that anymore. So you can upgrade. If you see, there's two slots here. I'm kind of highlighting them a little. I don't have any more rooms for dragons in there. This guy, I could buy an egg to hatch or just leave it until I hatch another dragon. But what you can do is you can take this green arrow and you can upgrade. Oh, I need level 8 to upgrade. And then at that point, it'll cost me 1200 uh, gold. Can I upgrade this one? Nope. Oh, this one I have to wait to go level 11. Man, it's crazy. So, let's just see. Oh, let's. So, food, when you earn food, you earn um, XP as well. See, now I got a gem and I have more habitats. This is really important. Oh, blah, 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 blah. So, farms. Actually, I'm going to get another farm. I'm going to make another farm. If you see uh, over here in buildings, this is two out of two. I cannot have more than two farms right now. Now I said on mine I have like 10 or 15, I don't know, something. And habitats, which is right here, I can have, it says two out of six. That is not two out of six of each. That is two out of six as a whole. So I'm going to put a water sea habitat there. Oh, I got another another one of these guys. And I'm going to see if I can buy, oh look I can, I can buy a sea dragon. So once my sea dragon hatches, 
gonna go over here and once my sea dragon hatches I'm gonna wanna breed it with water or fire now over here in my goals um, feed another dragon to level four oh you used to be able to scroll down and you could see more um, I've sort of done all the ones in between I jumped to 10 and 11 um, it'll tell you breed this with this breed that with that and um, you'll get oh clear two bushes so I got 15 food for that let's see if something's oh visit dais okay okay we're gonna do that so I'm gonna go around for a little trip so to do that I'm gonna put the five minute one on this is just strategy I'm not good at strategy games but I could give you strategy on what did it called it called it simulation games so by building habitats you got XP and what we're gonna do is down here all these gems if you invited friend and they start playing you'll get gems don't spend your gems it's so tempting to spend them to speed things up but what's gonna happen is something really cool is gonna come along that you wanna buy and you have to have gems for it and like all the other games gems are something you can put your real money into and I've put my real money into it and later these islands um, I'll actually show you now for 2500 25,000 I could buy that block of land or for two gems um, but the next island is gonna need this much money later on the islands one of the islands that's over here it cost me 405 gems the other day and every plot of land I open is like close to a million dollars like it's or over a million I think actually it's a couple million it's insane and I saved I will tell you those 405 gems I had bought gems la da 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 da, -da used them all up I earned 405 gems by you noticed when we leveled we got a gem um, this tower over here daily you get a gem well if every day you go on and get a gem that's 30 gems a month um, and I invited some friends but that's I don't think that's why I got it they have tournaments too once you get to a certain level they always have a different island new island or a challenge that pops up and you can win gems and um, there's a few things that are, aren't going to show up until I get to certain levels and that's how oh welcome calendar so day one what did I get I got a double Terra dragon <gasps> my hatchery is full so this is cool so once you get through the whole welcome calendar um, it has a 30-day calendar and what it'll do is you can randomly send a gift to people who play Dragon City it's not your friends it's anybody and what will happen is is um, after a few days you get three gems and then you get five and so in a month you probably get 10 or 15 gems just from that which is cool um, and then the challenges there's also a spin that'll show up this uh, daily draw oh look see another gem this daily uh, draw game and what will happen is uh, you can win up to 50 gems I'm just looking for mr. mad mr. mad I don't know where he went I need him to do something because I just noticed something was like the court doesn't reach from here and I look looking at this my laptop that I left sitting out on the couch in a precarious position and all it takes gonna take is the cat going whoop and bye bye laptop so what is this oh I could download Dragon City how 16 gems to download so here's another one 16 gems to download um, onto your desktop if you install it on your phone so if you play on the computer um, and then you install it on your phone you get gems um, I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna I got a lot of stuff on the desktop and Mr. Matt will get his knickers and no nod if I show you all his business his personal business so here we go no build a new flame feed the sea dragon to level 4 place the sea dragon oh well do we have any food? Let's see if we can feed this guy to level four. Nope. Level three and a half. Three. So we're going to go over here. So, sorry, bottom. I forget. I don't have the mouse. And we got to figure out how you can see the mouse. You see this little, because I started talking about gems. You invite a friend. They join. It's, it's not if you invite them. It's if they download it. So if you've got friends, 
and uh, they don't want to play, just be like, just install it. Just ex install it and accept some of my requests, and then uninstall it after a week. Because later, to build certain habitats, the metal habitat, and to open certain things, you need a friend to say that they'll do it, which is really crappy if you don't have any friends who want to play. Um, so I'm not sure what we're going to do here. So we're going to go visit down to the bottom. Visit, used to be able to do this in Castleville and Farmville and all those good ones. Woohoo, okay. So let's see here. Okay, so you can see he's got all kinds of more islands, more towers. Um, the towers actually start off unfinished and then later you have to finish them. Um, although it's interesting because he probably has the towers finished but I can't see them because I don't. Because um, I had a friend one time who went on mine and was like, do you have this tower? I can't tell. I'm like, yeah. But she couldn't see it because there's a dragon that the tower, you send, you, you click on it and you send dragons on a quest and um, I'll show you later because I'm sure we'll get to that. They um they collect pieces, or and sometimes they don't come back with a piece of the tower. They come back with a piece of something else, which is cool. So this you see this little I put it over the house. Let's uh, zoom in, zoom in so you can see, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, uh, you see the little energy mark shows up. Um, oh, over here on the side on the left, you see there's a uh, energy and energy sign. There were five there. It's usually five. I gotta tell you, in these games, you can usually help your neighbors. <sighs> no matter who owns it, you can usually help your neighbors five or six times. It's usually the legal limit. Listen, I don't want to visit you. I want to return home. That's one I always screw up. Oh, look, I got money. So you guys saw that gold bar. The houses get this little, little bubble. This little bubble. So. You see, I can regrow the same thing I grew last time. It's kind of neat. Um, if you don't have enough money or if you change from devices, then it gets different. Listen, goals. Flashing because I have new goals. See, breed sea and flame. Let's go over here and feed you. I still can't feed you. All right. All right. So we want to breed a flame dragon. Oh, I don't have a sea dragon to breed. But I have a sea dragon to hatch. Oh, yay. Sea dragon to hatch. I don't like these little windows that pop up. I don't actually read them. I'm like, ah, cool, I got something. Storage. Okay, so I earlier I won something. Oh, Let's just quickly grow some food. And so down here on the bar, on the right-hand side, there's a little world. And you can click your dragon book, the battles, or your storage. So I'm going to go into storage. Um, I'm going to use my double terra dragon. Now, um, this little pointer tool is basically moving stuff, put it in storage, remove something. It, it's basically your landscaping. Um, if you've ever clicked on anything, so I click on this and now I can move the house. If I want my thing back, I just go down here and click that red guy. Alright. You see you can upgrade the farms too. You have to be a certain level and have a certain amount of money. But you can upgrade them so they create more food. And that's how you get the different farming options. But if I go over here into build, it takes me into the store. Okay, that's where my dragons are, habitats, buildings, packs. So storage, the same thing that I was just in. This is another way to get to it. Expand. Earlier we were on an island and I showed you that you could buy a plot of land. Um, you can also do it through this option, through this menu option. So decorations, I honestly, you win them all the time and I sell them. The only thing, oh, oh, oh. The only decorations I've ever really kept are, oh, you can't, the, uh, the super tiles or the the gold tiles there's like these gold tiles that show up and um, I don't think that they actually do anything they're really just decoration so it's not like some games where you put something and it helps them grow packs is where you buy gems um, 
Now look at this, 65 gems for 662 or 29 for three dollars. The prices are different whether you buy them, like the amounts are different. So 330 of them for $35 or 300 for 26.54. Um, so sometimes it's cheaper to buy them on the computer, sometimes it's cheaper to buy them on the, um, this is what I want. I want the big 4,000. 4,000 bin, and there's a limit on how many you can buy on the app. Um, food, so you can't buy food with money. You have to buy gems so that you can buy food. You can buy gold with gems, um, and you can redeem a card. So you can get Facebook cards. Um, I know like 7-Eleven and some corner stores. Um, not like tiny convenience stores, but the ones that have like game cards and gift cards, you can usually get a Facebook card. And I love that Facebook did this because you used to be able to buy specific game brand cards. Um, it's like Mr. Mad told me one time, buy me Blizzard Bucks. And I went into EB Games and was like, yeah, I want to buy Blizzard Bucks. And apparently that's not something you can do. <laughs> but there should be. Um, I'm trying to think of what else you can do that for. Um, it's like Swiss Chalet and uh, Harvey's and Montana's. We're in Canada, so some of you might have no idea what I'm talking about. There's a, a set of five restaurants, and um, they sort of progress from a fast food burger joint to a fancy sit-down um, keg, keg steakhouse, because <laughs> steakhouses are fancy, um, but like expensive, but you buy a gift card, and you can use them at all of them. So it's nice, because they're owned by the same company, that... Um, I like this better, and I like this, the idea of buying Facebook cards because for someone that you know plays on Facebook, or that you know maybe you might like that restaurant, but you're not really sure, because odds are, out of five restaurants, they could probably find one that they would go to, whether it's, I'll stop and get the kids a burger at Harvey's, or whether date night's going to be at the Keg House. Um, so this is cool. I like that you can do the Facebook, because I guess they must not have their own cards, but... Um, so buildings, oh buildings, so there's these wizard guys, I do not have any of them. And this guy is 250 gems and he'll let you speed up any wait time. Uh, but I haven't really ever spent the money on him to know whether or not he was really worth it. And um, you have to have one before you can get the next one. I don't really know anybody who has them because they cost so many gems. 250 gems, let's go see over here, is almost 30 bucks, like $26. So um, 250 gems, $27 for one guy. That's and and thing. So there's these temples. So when you get a certain level, you spend uh, X number of dollars. And... Um, Right now, my dragons, actually, I could only feed them to level 10. And they can't go past level 10 until I get this magic temple. And then the next one is to get your guys to 20. I'm at level 52. And I think I only have um, the first three because I don't have any dragons over 25. But I do have a lot of dragons. And rather than... Um, like some people keep their drag so keep half their dragons at like zero. Most of my dragons are over level ten, um, and a good chunk of them are hitting level twenty. Um, and someone who plays Dragon City a lot is going to come by and comment and be like, uh, "I'm at level fifty, and like all my dragons are over 30. Um, it's like my mom makes fun of the fact that she just finally surpassed me after trying and trying and trying. She finally surpassed me on Dragon City, but she plays every day. Um, and sometimes on her day off, she'll just veg out and watch movies and then keep clicking on her Dragon City. And I don't. Um, days will go by. I don't come on Dragon City. So those are the temples. Specials. Whew. Um... So there's a recruitment tavern. Um, for every friend, every three friends you recruit, recruit through the recruitment tavern, you will actually get. Um, I'm actually gonna buy one, so that you can see, because it's kind of cool. And if I just bought the wrong thing, I'm gonna punch myself in the face. Nope. So once you get three friends who have signed up, you can go in and um, pick a dragon. Um, a little cheat for this, 
I had a couple friends who would do this with me, and it only worked for a little while. <clears throat> but um, three of three of us would uninstall Dragon City, and the fourth person would invite us to play Dragon City. So we would uninstall it from Facebook. When we reinstalled it, all of our stuff was still there, but it registered on them us accepting their request. Um, it only works if you have four people um, because one person can't do it twice so if your friend uninstalls and there you become your gold digger and then they uninstall again to become your elf supervisor it won't it won't work it'll just screw it all up um, and there are different dragons if you use your recruitment tavern on a mobile device than if you do it on the desktop so that's another really cool thing to do um, some of those dragons you can win too, because I have some of them from doing that, and some of them from. Not that I cheated at all. Let's see, this guy's taking like forever to fill up. And um, did we get this one? Oh, we didn't get this one to level four. Level four, and I got a gem. Oh, because I reached level six. I'm level six. I could play this game all day. And I just made, I'm just looking at the thing, I'm like, we've been playing Dragon City for a half hour. This is going to be one of those games where it's just going to go on all night. And Mr. Mad's going to be like, did you seriously spend a two hour video on Dragon City? But I feel like I'm giving you new information every time. Because this is a game I actually know. Um, so, where were we? We were over in the store. Alright, so, buildings, specials. So, that's the tavern. Um, Dragon Market is weird. I've never really done anything with it. You can basically buy random dragon things, um, but with gems, and so it's not really worth it. The Colosseum you want. The Colosseum is where you're going to battle other dragons, and um, the training center you want, that's where you basically, your dragon becomes inaccessible for 24 or 48 hours, um, and you can kind of watch them. They kind of shows them trying to do whatever with the target. Um, but when they come out, their attack has been upgraded. Um, and the more levels you get, and the more, the higher you get, the more upgrades there are. So kindergarten, you put baby dragons in, and they actually, I think it actually earns you gold. And this one, the Dragonorium, uh, stores dragons, um, but you can't use them at all, and they don't produce any gold. I think... I think in the kindergarten they actually do earn gold, but I don't have one. We've never gotten a kindergarten. I just put my eight dragons in habitats. I don't really care if they're babies or not. <laughs> so breeding, so I have a breeding mountain and you can get a breeding tree. Um over here there is a breeding island that I believe you open up after a certain point in time. I only have the breeding mountain. I've never gotten the breeding tree. So it's not something you have to get, but you may want to get if you're enjoying breeding the dragons a lot. Um, crystals. These are really, really cool. So I don't have any right now. They open up at different levels. The first one's not going to open to level 13. Um, you can buy up to four of each. And what you do is you put them right by a habitat and what will happen is you'll see like a big circle that'll and the closer your dragon is to the center of the circle the more of a boost it'll get um, so you can put it down like right neck I could put it right down between this uh, fire habitat and this terra habitat and I could go in here and click oh click on my dragons and it might show that sassy here has a 20 percent boost and Horatio has a 40% because he's closer. And so what I recommend doing is consolidating. Like right now I have three habitats, so it doesn't matter. Um, in my other game, I have this island over here has all my sea habitats. This one has all the flame ones. This one has all the terra ones, just because I like how they look. Um, it doesn't really matter where you put them. But they're together, and they're placed in a way so that they all can optimize the crystals um, the best possible way. So let's hatch. No. No. All right. I don't have enough habitats. Meow, 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 meow. 
This is going to take 10 seconds. And you can upgrade your habitats, but I don't have enough money or space. So after a certain point, you actually can't upgrade any more habitats. You have to wait until habitats, until you get more, um, oh, sorry, I clicked away on that and I should have showed you that. You see the 4 out of 10. And once I get all 10, um, later on down the road, you'll have to op wait until an opening and then you still won't be able to upgrade it. Um, when you place a new dragon that you don't have, your book pops up and shows you where it is. So later when you end up with like 100 or 300 dragons and you have no idea um, if you've bred it or not, it's really helpful to have that because I'll place a dragon and the book doesn't open and I go, okay, I can go in here and I can sell this surplus little dragon. I'm going to sell Alvin for 100 gold. Um, I usually would say that if you have extra eggs um, and it's something that you've already hatched, I would, um, oh, I got to level the sea dragon in order to breed him. I would say, I, like I sell them, but I sell them after I've hatched them. I don't sell them as an egg because usually you get more money from a hatched dragon than you do from an egg. The who? Five hours. Oh, well, I don't have time for this. For four gems, yes, we will, because I'm never going to play on this account again. Unless some of you would like to see another video of me playing this. So I'm going to put a sea dragon with a flaming rock dragon. Oh, that's also going to take four hours. Balls. Now it was four gems because it takes four hours, so it'll be a usually be a gem for every hour that it's going to take for it to breed. So this is actually breeding, I can tell you right now, it's breeding a blizzard dragon. Uh, breed of speed up sea and flame hatchling. And then it wants me to breed a sea and terra dragon, which isn't happening right now. So I could speed this up. Let's do that. weird cloud dragon oh it wasn't a blizzard dragon it was a cloud dragon all right so i've got my cloud dragon Woohoo! Woo all right oh so i was really hoping that some of the stuff would open but we're still stuck way down over here at level six and uh oh i don't have enough gold to mine that one when you really want to skip levels, I mean, clearing away rock. The cool thing is, even though I don't own this uh, island over here yet, I can actually set these little bushes down here to clear, and the trees to clear, which is kind of awesome. By kind of, I mean totally awesome. So, it's kind of a good way to skip ahead a bunch of levels without actually having to play. So, I'm going to go back down here to my world, and I've got storage, and I've got the battle... And I just realized that we said we would do how, like, Mr. Matt and I agreed that we would do how-to videos differently because he wanted to do 365 days of gaming by doing a how-to video on something else. Um, and I said no, and I should have said yes. But he wanted to do games that I already played. Don't do a how-to on H1Z1. And this isn't really a how-to. This is just me playing and telling you all about it. Um, so tournaments over here that's logged. You have to have the Coliseum League. And that's where it plays you against, like, the computer one and uh, there'll be tournaments so you have to win you you play and then you have to wait a while in between but you play and you play and you play and you play and then you get a dragon you'll actually win a cool dragon every time you finish a tournament and it's finished a tournament and there's no time limit so if you play one round and in three weeks you decide to go back and play the next round you're good there's just a minimum time limit in between them which is usually sometimes it's five minutes sometimes it's an hour there are some tournaments that are timed because they're part of a challenge, so they'll only be there for two days. But there are some like, and you win like the cup, and you're really winning a dragon, and they're they're pretty static. Use the dragons to fight against your friends. All right, so the, these aren't my friends; these are random people on Facebook. So you pick your team. This is the most important thing. Don't click here without clicking on your team. I only have two dragons to qualify because the rest are making babies.
They get to go first. So I wanted to show you just like one sample. So you can see these are locked because I don't have a high enough dragon. So I only have certain certain spots. I'm going to punch him. And you saw it took 795 HP. And I'm dead. So it'll let me pick my new dragon. So normally I would have two dragons to pick from. But even when I only have one dragon to pick from, it still makes you pick a dragon. I'm going to earthquake you. It's like Jupiter in Sailor Moon. Or is it Venus world shaking? Venus world shaking. I don't know why I thought Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter's the electric one. Ah, I'm on crack. Not really on crack, but sometimes. Sometimes I wonder if that's what's wrong. Mr. Mad must be slipping me something to keep me uh, docile. Although that doesn't really work either. The other day he shared a meme and it was a woman smacking her husband and it was like, Wife, what do you want? Husband, I want you to be a little less bitchy. Wife, I meant for dinner. I'm like, is that our life, really? Alright, so I'm going to click these. You see these little X? Oh, okay, so this just happened, which happens sometimes, where it kind of loads funny, and you kind of just got to zoom in and out a couple times, and usually it goes away. So I'm going to go over here and click on them. Oh, they're not going to let me click. So, uh, I'm going to have to reload this. And, oh, nope, disappeared now. So, you can reload the page, or you can just kind of, I find if I go, like, way over here and back again, that it kind of jolts it. And I don't know what that's called. Is that a leg? <laughs> no, this is a leg, but you can't see what I just did. Oh my goodness, he just killed somebody. And it was crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, is this one of those cool ones? Watch. Some of them have a really cool video of what their dragon does. There's one dragon that, like, accident. I think it's the double flame dragon. It's one of the fire dragons. <laughs> he, like, actually sets himself on fire. And then he turns completely into ash. So this is like a manador dragon. Um, this guy just chases a fly. The lava rock dragon. What is lava rock? Oh, I can't see him because he's mating. He's getting it on like Marvin Gaye. This guy just breathes fire. Took me a really long time to realize that they did these things. He turns into a cloud. And then back into a dragon. Back into a dragon. All right, Mr. Mad like came and poked his head out, and then he disappeared again. I think that was a cue, like, oh my goodness, are you still doing this? Um, so I think that's all we can show you. That's all I can really do at this point. You can just play. It's good if you like to click a lot and you feel a sense of accomplishment for little things, because I'm all like, look, I got a level. Look, I got a level. Yay! It's not really a lot of skill required in these games. It's just a lot of senseless clicking. This is my ancient world. This is the coolest thing. I will warn you, if you play it on a mobile or a touch screen, and here you mine stuff, and there's a certain things that if you hit it too hard or it double hits, at a certain point it switches from spending your gold to spending your gems. And I've actually lost like 80 gems in one accidental click several times. Um, usually if you file a complaint with them and you're like, I just did this and the touch screen just fucked it up, They'll re they've reimbursed me. Although the one time they were like, we won't do this again because it's been on your file. And then three days later it happened again. They're like, really, no, this is the last time we'll do it. But it was the two that times that happened was the first week I got the cat and he was distracting. And I had learned not to click, click, click and not to play while distracted. Um, most of these things, if you want to spend gems, let's find something I can spend a gem on. Gotta find something to spend a gem. Oh, these guys. It'll ask me, instead of just me clicking on speed up, it'll ask me to confirm. In the ancient world, it does not ask you to confirm anytime you spend gems, so if you just click, then you're screwed. And they really need to fix that. Alright, so 
45 minutes later, and for those of you who are new and who just happened to like Dragon City, I should put this at the beginning. Um, welcome to the Madhouse, 365 days of gaming. Every single day, we're going to pick a new game, we're going to record a video. I'm sorry about the last two days not having audio, although some of you are like, yeah, I didn't have to listen to her stupid voice. Um, if you like us, hit like and hit subscribe because we need more subscribers. Follow us on Twitter. It is Madhouse MMO. Um, Madhouse was taken, so on Twitter I had to add the MMO Mass Multiplayer Online. So that's what that stands for. Because there's two of us, um, Mr. Mad. One day you'll hear his voice, and one day he'll play. Today is not that day. So like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Search us up on Facebook. All our Facebook's kind of weird right now. Um, if you've got a game you want to see. Let us know if you've got a recommendation for a how-to or something you want to see us. If we've already played it, but you want to see more of it, um, we might not do a part of 365 days, but we're going to try to do some gameplay of the games that you guys like. It seems to be H1Z1 is in the lead. Um, so thanks for checking us out. Adios.